everybody, welcome to the Kirsty Beacon Show! <laughs> so today, oh my god, we are blessed with the presence of Adam's amazing wife, Hayley. I absolutely love it. Obviously, Adam loves it. Um, and it's their anniversary. <laughs> so and what else would you do on um, your anniversary? For a treat. To treat Hayley. Just having the nails done, Doc. <laughs> How about that? What a lovely treat for you. Are you chuffed? Yeah, proper chuffed. <laughs> <laughs> Since you've got to put up with me horrible nails. Oh, they won't be horrible by the time you leave. No, so I say it, and then so I didn't say they're not horrible. No, she didn't. <laughs> she didn't. <laughs> wink, wink. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to do, because I... We've got lots of designs planned, but this morning it was extremely icy outside. My van was iced up like you wouldn't believe. And it's not got heated windows. You know, she's an old lady. She's not brand spanky. She ain't got the heated windows business. And I've got no de-icer, no scraper. Have used before a CD case to scrape yeah, with. I've Quite good they are. Yeah. Did wreck my CD. I used to do tapes. 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 Cassette tapes. Yeah. Cassette tapes. Yeah, yeah but they, they were good as they well. Were great. Yeah. yeah. So, but good didn't have any of them. So, I had to sit there and wait for it to um, defrost. Took some pictures of the eyes because I was like, oh, it's so pretty. So, I was like, do you know what? Let's do some icy nails today. So let's go. So Haley's nails are all different shapes and sizes. <laughs> so if we look, can you see this? So this nail bed and length. You know, it's a decent amount of length. We do fan out here. So, if we look at from the cuticle here, we fan out. So, if I hold them to there, you can kind of see that sort of fan shape. So, it's narrower at the cuticle, but wider at the free edge, yeah? And then we've got this one. So, this one's quite straight here, but then does come out to one side, yeah? So, the, I mean, look how different they are. They're like, they couldn't be any different. <laughs> they couldn't, could they? And then we've got, you have the littlest um, index fingernails I think I've ever seen. They're it's so, tiny, isn't it? it's, yeah. they are really tiny, because they yeah. show me the other one. Look, they're both like really, really tiny. Tiny. <laughs> so, we're going to come across lots of different challenges when we do the nails, yeah? Your thumbs, you've got a bit of... Have you, ha have you ever picked at your thumbs and shredded them? They d I did have, like, a lumpy, bumpy thumb. Yeah. And then I found that down, down, down. Down, 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 down. Till it was yeah, it was like... I, I always remember it, like... Bumpy, lumpy. Yeah, it was very, very sort of ridged. Yeah. Like a wave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can kind of see that. Um, whether you look at... And that was before you ever had any nails That was though. before I had any yeah. nails. And yeah. did you, but did you used to, did you used to um, create trauma on your nail? Yeah, definitely. By picking and things oh, like God, that. Oh, God, yeah. I was a picker. I was everything yeah. you're not supposed to do with your nails. That was me. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people like that. When I've got no nails on, I, I bite and pick. But can we see this band in here? So we've got here... So it's a different colour. Yeah. Because it's different thicknesses. Yeah? Yeah. So that's where you would have had the trauma. Your, your, your lumpy bumpy business. But the more that you don't have the trauma, the better they'll get. But the trauma because the damage has already been caused, it'll they'll always grow through a little bit. A little bit dodgy duck. Yeah. A little bit dodgy. So I'm gonna prep. So I want you to look at the cuticle, especially on this one. So, can you see, we've got, I'd say it's at least one mil, some areas, a mil and a half of cuticle here. When you took your acrylics off, the, the um, Nikki did you, how did you take them off? I just filed them off and then 
det på mig. Og det var, det var. Og det var, punga. Nej, var af. Pung, pung, punga. Ja. Flipped off. Pung. Flipped. Det er pung. Det er, you pulled them off. Ja. You pulled them off. That's yeah, what I was getting Yeah, but when they were dead thin. So you made them quite thin before you... Yeah, yeah. I, I, I get, I get. It. Didn't I have get any what? acetone. Oh, what's it called? Acetone. 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 Yeah. Right. So here, you can see there are little tiny little ridges. See these little tiny little lines, and those tiny little lines are evidence. Oh, criminal. They are evidence oh of the misbehaviour. Haley, <laughs> they are the lines of flicking it off, pull, Ping. pinging it off, pulling it off, whatever. So you you lose like little shards, little layers of you of your natural nail. So if you have a client send you a photo, oh my nails are just pinged off, <laughs> and you can visibly see these little lines where the nail plate has been separating because it's been pulled like that. Imagine these are like split ends on a nail. So if you can see these kind of things, you know that they are Yeah, they haven't just, you know, pinged off. There's been some assistance there. <laughs> so that'll be nice for you to know. And then you can deal with that as you wish. But those that don't do nails, those are people that, people, like you guys that watch, can be professional nail techs, new nail techs, clients that like to have their nails done, people that just like to watch us chat about nails. Um, they'll help the client as well. So if you're a client and you have your nails done, um, there's no way really getting rid of, the, rid of this evidence. <laughs> so get them soaked off. Get them soaked off. That's what I'm saying. So, but I think as much as you hate your nails, I think your hands, you know, your your fingernails are very much what go into everyday salons. And that's why people have the nails done. They're very flat. They're very, they, you know, some are wider than the others. So what we're going to do is, especially on these two here, we want to, because they are so different, we want to make them look identical, as you know, as close as I can. And we're going to do the gorgeous um, article, icy, icy effect on there as well. And so the transformation will look quite cool. I am just going to prep this one and just show you how I will prep it because we've got quite a substantial amount of cuticle. And lots of people ask me this. So if you are a nail tech that doesn't use an electric file, you will be forced to push back the cuticle because you haven't got an electric file. So I'll, sh I'll show you that. So I'm gonna show you on this side here. So we're gonna push and it's very tough. See how it's very difficult to push it back? Yeah, it's really hard, isn't it? It's really hard, yeah? So I'm, I'm having to use quite a bit of pressure, but you don't, you wanna be at a 45 degree angle, but not pressing down. And then you don't wanna be too low that you keep slipping and slipping and slipping and slipping and catching. But because it's so hard, it's 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 quite easy to slip if you go too low. Yeah. So make sure you're at that 45 degree angle, but you are pushing back. You are not pushing down. Yeah. Take away any non-living tissue. So we, can you see that that is the cuticle there attached to the nail plate? You want to get rid of that. You kind of want to lift that cuticle. I'm just showing you on one side just to show you the difference between the two. You'll see that you get quite a little bit of debris going on. So that's pushed back, but then you've got all this sort of Flappy bit of skin, haven't you? Cut off. You could cut it off. You're very right. Because you're kind of left with only one option of cutting that off. 
I would use cuticle scissors rather than a nipper, but it is preference. So anything that's sort of white, I'm going to get rid of, yeah? But I, I tend to like an electric file to do my prep. But not on, ev not on everybody, you know, it depends how thin the skin is. You've got to assess that as soon as that client sits in front of you. I'm going to flip this into reverse because what I will do is I'm going to go across that cuticle and what's going to happen is the electric file is going to push it back. I'm not applying a lot of pressure, I'm just touching it really, making contact with it. Can't even feel it. Can't you? Slightly pushing back and you're lifting that cuticle. And then let me get that, let me change the bit to the proximal fold bit. So that's the cuticle bit and it's like a, it's like a little um, rugby ball kind of shape, I want to say. And then this is the proximal fold bit. And we're going to use it on the proximal fold. So that still pushes back. And I'm just going to clean up that dry skin. And anything that's left after I've gone round that, I can give that a little bit of a trim. I have slightly nicked to there. But I want you to see the main point of this is, look at the difference between pushing it back and nipping and using an electric file. Yeah. Totally different. Yeah. This is still, it's still cuticle sat down by a mill. Let's just tease this back now with this proximal fold bit. And clean up a bit of dry skin. The more your client has this done as well, the less chance you're going to create any cuts and the less the less time it will take because it will maintain it. Yeah, and they were quite thick, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah that's why I wanted to show them because it is it was it was a it was a thicken. I'm just gutted. I've caught it caught it there. It's like a tiny little graze. But that looks so much better. I'm going to use a mandrel bit and our fine sanding bands, which are made from ceramic. So they've got ceramic particles on there. And that's what's going to abrase the surface. It's a 240 grit. So it's nice and gentle. We also do it in, in um, a medium as well. But that's more for taking off gel polish. So I'm just going to whip over that and remove any surface shine from the nail. No pressure again, just whipping it over. And then that is enough. I'm going to wipe over with our cleanup solution. And we're ready to rock and roll. Wow. Looks better. You can it's see more like, nail. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, yeah. It's got like a few more mil of nail, haven't it? <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to use some tips. And the tips we're going to use today, we use loads of different tips. These are from Glitterama. They are a stiletto tip. Hayley's not having them this long. It's always important to talk to your client and make sure you're getting what length they want as well because, you know, I am a bit of a bully and I do push people into having longer nails than they probably want. <laughs> but that being said, it's important because you want to know what they do in their life, what kind of lifestyle they've got, how they're going to be, you know, bashing their hands around. Yeah. 
and what you want to make sure is that the tip is running straight don't be tempted to splay it and why and basically shave from the top view i'll get a nail that's too small yeah so this is ever so slightly too small at the edge but if i do this if i lift it it looks like it fits from edge to edge mm -hmm. but if it's straight it's actually too short so don't be tempted to lift your tip up like this just to make it fit you have ski jump nails yep my nails already ski jump at the end don't they wow this one ski jumps up a bit you see a bit. got a little bit of a right so i've got some wow bow nail glue it's very thin meaning it will set quite quickly Now, what I don't want to do, see how it's coming straight out? But when you look really closely, can you see how there's a little bit of glue not gone here and a little bit of glue not gone there? Because of how the tip is shaped, it won't sit flat here. Don't worry about that because, can you see there's a couple of mil attached here? I'm not going to worry too much about that at all. The other thing you can do is hold those corners down, which is great. There'll still be a, a bit of that tip that's not touching, but we're gonna get rid of that. So the tip creates a platform. The acrylic creates the strength. You see how that one's gone on quite well because it's a totally different shape. It's still nice and straight from the side, but that's gone on really nice. And this one, because it's got that bit of a dip, because it dips like that. So you've got a dip like this and then you're putting something that's straight on top of it with glue. So you're not going to get the glue to go all the way to that bit, are you? So will the acrylic sort of fill that gap a bit? We're going to get rid of the we're going to oh, get right. rid of the that bit of a bit of plastic from the oh, tip. Okay. Right, so lengthwise, Hayley, mm -hmm. how long do you want them? Well, do you know Adam said no, she can't have the she won't be able to do them as long as Andrea's, but Andrea's a pretty they look pretty like what I could handle. Yeah. Yeah. So Definitely. they're about, they're about the same as mine, aren't they? About the same, Let's see yours again. Yeah, I, I definitely can handle that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gave me doing the packing. Yeah, young packing. You gave me doing the packing, the orders, <laughs> and you'd be like, Ready, <laughs> No, I think you'll be fine. No, no, I think you'll be I've fine. I've had acrylics on and I have gone loads of different shapes and sizes. And yeah. And it would be a waste not to go a bit more adventurous with you. Oh, it would, I? wouldn't it? It would. So I'm going to take them to there and then I'm going to file, yeah? One other thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to give them a bit of a pinch. So I'm pinching the tip. Do this before you blend the tip. So if we look at the difference now, sorry, but okay. yeah. See how this one's really flat? No, this one's got a nice curve. Yeah, really. Yeah, nice C curve. Also narrows the nail, making it look slimmer and longer. I'm gonna do the same with this. So we kind of like, I kind of like just giving it a little bit of a squish. And what you want to do is loop down the barrel of the nail. That immediately looks different, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. So, I'm going to use that same sanding band as we did before. And I'm going to take away that excess plastic, that tip. <coughs> mm -hmm. Right, so I'm just going to wipe over that now. 
with some clean up solution. Believe it or not, it cleans it up. <laughs> <laughs> and it dehydrates. It does dehydrate as well. Cleans and dehydrates. Lovely. Right, so we're going to use a combination of things today. It's going to get a bit crazy. Um, I do wish these were on longer nails, but yeah, just saying. Nobody wants long nails nowadays. Oh, oh. <laughs> but that's fine. It's absolutely fine. It's fine. I need to have a very, 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 very thin. And when I say very thin, I mean very thin. Layer of clear acrylic. Right, so we've got, um, so I'm using Nail Camis Genesis Core Powder in clear. I've got their liquid, and then we're going to go on with the Ultra Bond. This is their primer. I mean, already with a tip on the end, they kind of looking similar, aren't they? So when I say thin, I'm being super thin. I'm going to start where that tip finishes on the natural nail, and this is just for adhesion and the smallest amount of strength. So it's a little bit of strength and adhesion. So because I am going to put on top of this, I'm going to put gel on top of it. So I want a little bit of assurance from the acrylic for the adhesion and also a little bit of strength. Now, gel and acrylic do work so well together. So can you see how thin that is? Yeah. See, we're not bulked out the nail. So this is gel, medium clear gel from Mystique Nails. 15 gram pot. Now it says we cure in 20 seconds in an LED lamp. That's pretty fast, that is. That's, I like it. It's fast. The Brendette brush, what I'm going to do with it first is I'm going to go into this lid and I'm going to prep this brush by forcing the gel through those bristles making sure it has a little bit of gel on it already. It's going to help when you're picking up your gel. So I'm going to roll that on and I'm going to float over this and go from side to side, bringing it down the nail. Just going to feather it a little bit there. It doesn't need to be super neat. So we're not going to the cuticle. You'll notice that it's three quarters of the way up the nail. So I've got Luke, oh, all the brands are available. <laughs> a bit of a sandwich bag. You could use cling film. Pop that on. We're going to use the bag to create our crinkles. So she's got some tweezers. And you can kind of like just crinkle that up even more. It needs to be a transparent bag. That is very important because imagine if it's not transparent, then it will not cure. The gel won't be able to cure. And then as soon as you're happy, I'm gonna use our flash lamp. So we're gonna do the same on the other, but we're gonna do it slightly different. Don't think, um, that you need to put like that, that slip layer on. When you do a lot of gel, you normally put a slip layer on. With this, you don't need to because it doesn't need to be completely even. And what I'm gonna do is, so if you look at this bag, I've been stretching this bag. And as you stretch it, you get like these little wrinkles. It's kind of like skin, isn't it though? <laughs> we stretch the skin and we get the wrinkles. Runny skin. You get those wrinkle lines. So, I quite like this section here. So, I'm going to like put it on at an angle. And just tap it, just so it, the actual gel sits into that shape. Give 
je to ale o venku. Jo, no. Teda? No. Put me that in. This is when the other clients walk in and you've got plastic bags on your hands and they go, what's she having done? So you understand now why it needs to be a transparent bag. So you, like, if you used like a bin bag, for instance, it's black, isn't it? Mm. Or a trash bag, um, it would be coloured. Right, so let's take this one off. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks mega. This little bit here that's like hanging Stick it up, we're going to cut that off. We don't need that at all. Right, so let's have a look so, at this. Should we actually tell people why Hayley's really here? Yeah, Hayley's... So, uh, so in a, in a, not, a video not just from, here because it's anniversary. No, I don't want, want me nails done. Yeah, I don't but want the me nails done. But the main reason was because Andrea's <laughs> dog Luna has had nine puppies. Nine? Madness, ain't it, that? She <sighs> told us, and I couldn't not tell Hayley, and now Hayley's getting... One of the puppies. It's exciting! Yeah. <laughs> He'll be a puppy mom. Yeah. It's something I've wanted for a lot, a lot, a lot of years. Oh, I like this one. Look at there. Oh, yeah, that looks like oh, frost. That looks like your window. That yeah. really does look like the frosted window. I love that. Because, you know, they go in different directions. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. Right, so we're just going to nip off any any excess that is not needed. So, like, can you see here at the side? Let's just use some cuticle nippers to get rid of that. Love, love, love. I'm going to... I'm just going to spray them. Actually, I'm just going to go back in the lamp a little bit longer. I just want to make sure that they're as cured as cured can be. Right, so I'm just going to spray these with a cleanser because I want to get rid of that sticky layer. I'm just going to go over with a brush and clean your brush on a clean piece of paper towel. It's a lot easier than going in with a lint free pad. Ah, right, I was about to ask that by using the brush because it can get in the gas. Yeah, and then just so, and then each time clean it like this and then give it a spray. Again, give it a nice clean. What we're going to do now is I'm going to use Nail Camille's Interstellar Chrome Powder. I've got Lucente's T1. It's like a silicone little rubbery thing because I'm going to go in the powder and then I'm going to use the tip of this to sort of go in to some of these little sections so we can it's kind of like going to highlight it you don't need to run it rub it all the way through you just want it to catch certain areas but because it's got that little pointy nib on it you can kind of like push it in as well so the powder will stick to the surface of that gel because it's quite smooth. Yeah, you can see it just catching. I just wanted to see if this Constellation Stardust, now I have not used this before, this is from Lucente. I just want to see if any of this would stick in there as well. Oh, it does a little bit. Oh yeah, it does. That just makes it even more sparkly. Sparkly, yeah. Your middle name Sparkly. <laughs> Anything and everything Sparkly. I'm going to brush off the excess. You can see that that catches the, all the, the facets. And then we're going to use Nail Camille's Cow Pie. Cow Pie? Cow, cow Pie. Cow, cow. Kelpie. Kelpie. I think it's a cow pie. <laughs> the Kelpies is in Scotland, isn't it? Yeah. 
Who is it? Them Kel- horses? Yeah, the Kelpies is the horses, but this is this is like the Poseidon range. Yeah, so the Poseidon one's like a glass. I wonder if it's got another meaning. Uh-huh. There's, there's basically these big um, sort of, I don't want to say, uh, what are they called? Sculptures. Yeah. Um, of these big, huge iron horses. Right. Heads, and they're called the Kelpies. Mm-hmm. But there must be another... But- are they not like that kind of colour though? I don't know. Oh no, but this, this is the Poseidon so. range. Because the Poseidon range is sort Under of like the gla- glass range. Yeah. Um, so I want you to have... You know have... what Selkies are? Selkies are seal women. It's like a urban legend That's kind of like Andrea, isn't it? story thing. It is a bit, yeah. It is a bit like our Andrea colour. But uh, that's got um, glitter in it as well. Oh yeah. Give me that cure, and I think I'm just going to add a little bit more chrome powder on it once that's done. What are Selkies? Seal women. That's why I was getting confused. Ah, ah. mythical creatures. Oh no, so a Kelpie is actually a mythical Scottish shape shifting water horse. Ah, so ah so because it's transparent and it's got so that these blue. Are the, these to are the it. Kelpies that you, the, the structures in Falkirk. Them. Yeah, sure yeah, them. yeah. But a selkie is like a myth, a mythical creature, and it's mm. wim- it's seals that can take the fur off and become a woman, and sort of like they they come onto land and mm. and there's different kinds of them. Some that trick men and drown them and stuff, and mm. others that like. I like these people. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I wonder which scorn woman made that up. I know, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to add a thin layer of the gel. It only needs to be quite thin because we are going to go over with acrylic. We just kind of like sealing in some of that colour. Yeah, it's very thick that, isn't it? Mm. Pop me that in. Right, so now I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to do it the same as I did it before. Mm. I'm going to spray them with a cleanser. Go over with a brush. Clean the brush. Do that a few times. And now we're going to use Peach from the Genesis Nail Cummy. Just going to put that bonder at the back. I'm going to pop that on and then we're going to slide it over. And you're going to blend that colour out to nothing. Same on this one. Notice that I'm tipping the finger down as well so it's drawing away from the cuticle. Right, so now we're going to put on the clear, so clear acrylic. And what we're doing is we are encapsulating that design and also creating structure. Now when this starts to dry, we are also going to give this a little bit of a pinch as well. Same on this one. So I'm just going to set up this file board. Put 
pop it on top of a buffer it's far easier because you can get your finger and thumb either side of the board Let's take off the sharp edges. Right, so I'm just going to go up the side walls to get them nice and straight. Now, I know some of you might be thinking about, like, we've added colour, we've added some chrome powders and stuff. Um, and yes, it looked gorgeous without all that. But if we had not added any colour or powders to that design and then just put clear over the top, what do you think would happen? Disappear. It completely disappear. Mm -hmm. So you've got to add something to reflect. Because oh. it's, it's it's easy to get carried away and think, oh, that just looks so nice, I like it is. It yeah, yeah. yeah it just cover it That's up. what I, I did actually think that. <laughs> you thought it looks nice like it is, yeah. like she's she, she in colour now. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think, the, you know, the blues and teals tie in lovely with that sort of old like, icicle theme. Right, so we're going to give this a buff now. Make it nice and smooth. This will also help with clarity as well. So some people don't even buff. They just file and they go straight on with the top coat. Well, if you do that, if you don't do this stage, it when you put the top coat on, the top coat will never be as shiny. So if you might be thinking you're using a product and you put a top coat on and you're like, oh, it's it's all right, but it's not dead shiny. It will get shinier if it's on a smoother surface. Same for your gel polish as well. You want to make sure it's nice and smooth. Right, so we're going to use the glossy top coat to seal and you could just leave it like that because it does look pretty cool make sure you cap the edge oh it does look nice mm -hmm. got me there in the lamp so what we're going to do now is use white out which is our white gel polish and then with the white out we're going to get the lily liner brush you want to use pretty much a lot of the length of it, so I'm going to load that up. And you'll need some white acrylic powder. So I've got the Gelica acrylic powder in white. Then I'm going to pull down, that's my first starting point. We're going to work from those lines now. What I'm going to do is some like little snowy icicles. This makes me think of what are they called? Malactites and stalactites. Mm. Which is which? One goes up, one goes down, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I don't know what they are. I don't know which one is which. One's formed by a drip and then it rises up. Mm -hmm. And then one's formed by a drip as it like sort of solidifies as it's going down. Yeah. So don't put that in the lamp just yet. What we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of sugaring. So that means we're going to put powder onto it, which will make it matte. Before you go in the lamp, make sure you've checked it all. Make sure it's all covered. You can never add too much powder because it'll only accept the amount of powder it will. It won't like start going all gloopy and horrible. It'll just stick to, the powder will stick to the gel polish. Anything else will fall away. Pop me that in the lamp. Okay, I'm going to start here. And there. it just kind of gives me some things to work from. 
want a nice neat kiss pad. Woo! Very nice. I like it. This, I think this is my fave. Just because of how the lines are. The you know, cracks. Yeah, like cracks. They like cracks, but they're not proper cracks yeah. in nails because that would not be good. Would it? <laughs> that wouldn't be a vibe. Right, so this is all set now. So this will be textured. And I think it looks really nice against that shiny nail as well it's like a quite there's quite a lot in that nail you would you know you do, if you were doing a full set you don't have to do them all like this you could just do some that have maybe got that teal color and maybe a bit of this on or some are just the teal color but yeah i love them beautiful like them, Hayley. Yeah, I love it. Loves it. And is the length going to be all right? Do you think again? You're going to have to get used to it, aren't you? Yeah. I think you'll no, get used to that. Be. I think they'll be fine. They're not too long. No. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Yeah, they are long. But. <laughs> she says, yeah. I want to get used to that. Well, and you uh, have to start. You'll get used to that. You no start drama. somewhere, yeah. Yeah, I've got to start somewhere, and that's a reasonable length. I'll be in stilettos before you know Oh, uh, you'll be in, like, fey length <laughs> nails. Can you imagine if she turns into having <laughs> fey length nails? That would be amazing. <laughs> so there you are, guys. A little, they're like a winter wonderland, aren't they? I mean, inspired by the ice on my windscreen this morning. But... Beautiful, nevertheless. Um, everything I've used today will be listed below. If you've made it to the end of this video, you are an absolute star. Give us a subscribe, thumbs up, and all that shebang. I'll see you later. <laughs>